Herr Schleib, Sie hier? Ja, jeden Morgen. Jeden Morgen? Ja, fast. Fast, fast jeden Morgen. <lacht> Besser als der Schreibtisch. Robert and Robert from Munich from the playground on the Münchner Freiheit playground one of my favorite ones okay today we want to introduce you a fundamental principle of facial fitness it's called tensegrity and that's what you see in the network behind us which has many of the tensegrity features uh, tensegrity means an, a complex interconnected tensional network so on these ropes here in the background you see that they are all interconnected so if you pull on one rope it, it distributes attention to all the other ones but to varying uh, to a very different degrees and that's what we want to do also in the facial fitness training that you interconnect the loading that you have in your body and the children playground is great because you can hang with your arms up you can hang on with your with your legs up and you try similar like in yoga to feel the tension going all the way from one hand to the opposite leg from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet so that is very different to muscle training mm -hmm. and it feels great okay so what are the main difference um, of uh, fascial training and uh, muscle training well in muscle training you try to isolate one muscle group and then do exactly the same linear movement so you load the muscle to exhaustion but you only train the fibers on which you load in fascia training you never want to repeat the same movement twice so you vary the angle and you also want to spread it over as many joints as possible so that is a big difference mm -hmm. so um, is it possible to um, achieve strength gains with fascial training yeah but a fascial response slower it's more sustaining, more long-lasting, the training effects. So if you have a flu, your muscles, you can see them wasting, but your fascial strain, strength stays for a much longer time. But you also build it up slower. Mm -hmm. So you need, uh, if you exercise once or twice a week, which is what we recommend, after six months you really feel a different body architecture mm -hmm. under your skin. You have much more elasticity, mm -hmm. you feel uh, like your fascia cannot tear anymore. Uh, you, it feels like really strong elastic ropes that you have mm -hmm. there, particularly when hanging like a monkey. Mm -hmm. And that's what our shoulder girdle is lacking, particularly for desk workers. Mm -hmm. So our shoulder girdle was designed to hang like a monkey. We still have all the rotator cuff muscles, mm -hmm. we have the big latissimus dorsi, and we need, we need to actively load them. Mm -hmm. And you don't get that by, that by rowing again. Mm -hmm. You need to hang at these uh, extended positions. Mm -hmm. And that's where the children play hard. It's just absolutely great. Mm -hmm. So it's also good for flexibility? Yeah, because you exercise in the range of motion. Mm -hmm. And you load it in the range of motion. You could be also doing for two years regular passive stretches mm -hmm. at the door frame, etc. And slowly, slowly you get more mm -hmm. flexible. But if you do it with active loading, already after six months you feel like you have got much more mm -hmm. uh, hip joint range of motion. So you see it in people who do uh, kicks, like in mm -hmm. karate, they have more range of motion than their colleagues who mm -hmm. go to ballet class and they stretch mm -hmm. much, much more. So active loading uh, in the uh, end of the range of motion, which is exactly what the children playground gives you mm -hmm. a lot of opportunity. What are your recommendations for training? Well, go to a children playground mm -hmm. nearby, but particularly when you don't disturb the children, and start just start uh, carefully listening to your body and see what feels uh, uh, that it has a fun mm -hmm. sensation connected with it. I recommend just hanging upside down for five minutes. Mm -hmm. and, and if you haven't been doing yoga, it feels a bit strange first. You feel like your, your, eye, your head is bursting. But after a while, you get uh, adjusted to it and you love it. Mm -hmm. So um, it has also a psychological effect? Yeah, big one, big one. I mean, it's like just like the archetype of coming back to your boyhood adventure dreams. Mm -hmm. And you can do that uh, at any age, mm -hmm. uh, particularly at these playgrounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for your recommendations. Robert Schleib 
from Munich and Robert Heiduck. So please start exercise. Go to your next children playground tonight. See you there. Bye.